today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Olisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I am going to do a theme week again. I know that you really like them, I really like to do them and this week I'm doing my second Nobla week but I'm actually, okay, I'm dropping things over here. I'm actually doing a, oh, they are upside down, this is so disturbing, um, a cutie, I am doing a cutie week. So Nabla, they have seven cutie palettes, these small six pan palettes, I have them all, and uh, I just think that I'm going to play with these this week. So I'm going to do a look with each of the palettes and... I can show you which palettes I have, it's all of them, but I can show you how they look. And I'm going to take them in order because I like to do things in order. So the first one is the nude palette and yeah, this is a nude palette and this is what I'm using today. Number two is the Cutie Coral that looks like this. This has an amazing red shade, but I don't think I will use it tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, we will see. So this is the Cutie Palette. Coral. <laughs> All our Cutie Palettes. Next one is number three. This, I think this is my favorite and this is Platinum. I just love these shades. They are amazing. Number four is Metropolitan. That looks like this and this yeah I, we will see what I will do with this right now I have no idea then we have number five this that is wildberry that looks like this I wasn't super like this hasn't been a palette I'm super thrilled about I don't know why but maybe I will feel better about it when I use it a little bit more and then number six is a midnight. This is the blue one that for some reason has a brown shade. I don't know why. But yeah, this is midnight, the blue one. And the last one is analog. And I think this is like a darker worse version of the nude palette. So this is analog. So I think we just hop into this because yeah, it's just time. To, the, to these cute palettes and I will start with a new one. Why am I so awkward when I'm doing intros? I don't know, I'm so sorry. So the new palette, this was the, they released three at the same time, I think. That is astrid. <laughs> so this was the first one and I am not like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to do with it and I did swatch this right before I start to film but yeah I don't know I have no idea what I want to do in my first impression I did a halo eye and I'm not going to do a halo eye today but I think I will start with this one no doubts in my outer corner and we'll see where this will take me and when they released these nude palettes they have some different formulas the shades and they have some like yeah maybe I should have looked this up some are like latex and some are like super matte I am never like it's nothing that interests me. I just use a shade. And this shade is really good. This was so, so easy. But I actually think that I want to go in with latex nude, this one, and uh, have it in my crease. I will see if this will work. Just to blend it out and I think I have a catcher in my nose now again okay I don't know how much of the latest latex shade 
that is coming or if I'm just dragging around no doubts. I don't know. And on the rest of my lid I want to take a shimmer, but I don't know which one. I think that these two, I don't know if you can see that this is, this looks more pink, but they are pretty similar to this one when I swatched it on my hand and I don't want that. But like this, I think it's too light for what I want this look to look like. So I don't know what to do. After some thinking, I think I will take... Okay, I don't know. Maybe if I swatch them... Maybe they aren't... Okay. Okay. So these are the two. This one is the more pinkish one and this is the more gold one. And I think like the pinkish one on top feels a little bit too dark, but maybe not. Because I used the gold one in my first impression and had it as a halo. So maybe I should just take the one that I haven't used that much. Seducer, this one, and just take it on the rest of my lid. You know what, I will actually, I will do that. And I will see if this works without the little primer. And if you have seen my videos before, you know that I really like Nabla. It is one of my favorite brands, both when it comes to eyeshadows, to face products, especially their highlighter and bronzers and blushes. I really, really do love them. And I also really like their liquid lipsticks. And it's just... It is just such a good brand. And I think almost everything is vegan. And it is a cruelty free brand. It is a brand that is based in Italy. And I just want to play with Nobla more. And I've been thinking about doing a cutie week for a while now. I haven't just, I just haven't done it and I don't know why. So I was like, okay, maybe I should just start. Even though I don't love all the cutie palettes, maybe I'm going to like them more when I have used them a little bit more. Do you know what? This, this is kind of dark and it's not so much of a difference between the matte and the shimmer, but I still think I really like this one. But I think that I will go in with the black one. Plastic, this one. First I was like, I'm not going to use the black today. Yeah. But I just want it a little bit in my outer corner. Just a tiny, tiny amount. Just because the shimmer and the matte was pretty similar. So I just want something to give a little bit of dimension to the eye. The only thing I don't like with doing theme weeks is the editing part. I don't like the editing, editing part like ever, but especially when I'm doing theme, theme weeks. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go like this. I think I have to spice this up a little bit with a red lip or something. But yeah, I think this is as good as it's going to be. Get. My English is like... I think I will use Moonlight in my inner corners. I will do that. So I will fix my base and my under eyes and then I come back and I actually did take out all my liquid lipsticks I have from Nabla. There is a lot. So I will see. And do you know what I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11. 
and one, two, three, four, five are some kind of red tone. Oops. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Honey Dude from Colourpop and on my lips I took Hanging Rock from Nabla and I like this look, it's nothing wrong with it. But I don't think it's like something special, like unique to this palette. I still think the palette is good, but I don't feel like it's any unique shades that you can't find anywhere else. But if you want a nude small palette, I think this is good. And I don't know what more to say about the cutie palette nude. I will leave where you can buy this. You can buy it from Nabla's own website. Maybe Beauty Bay. Yeah, I think Beauty Bay. And I guess Ulta has Nabla as well in the US. So, yeah, I'm thinking about in my last video that is coming up on Sunday. I will do like. Maybe I should rank these palettes and do like a full review. I'm actually thinking about doing a review on everything I have on Nabla, like a brand review. And if you want that, I will happily do it. Maybe I will do it either way. But yeah, this is my look with a cutie palette nude from Nabla. And now I'm going to sip my mouth. I'm going to end this video and I hope that you're looking forward to this week. So tomorrow... No, I have to the palettes away from me so tomorrow it's going to be the core part and it's going to be so hard to not use this red shape but i'm thinking about doing something bright so maybe like these three yeah we will see yeah i hope that you will look forward to this week and i hope that i will see you tomorrow bye